Hey there, Taurus. Welcome. Okay, so I'm going to be doing all the signs for this coming week, which is June 10th to the 16th. And um, I do them in order of the most views to the least amount of views. So um, that's how I'm posting them now. And because, you know, it makes most, the most sense. And also, um, I wanted to let you know, I have got a lot of requests for people wanting to donate. So if you want to buy me a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, the, um, the link to PayPal is below in the description box. Thank you very much. Now let's begin with your reading. What is the energy going on for this coming week from the 10th to the 16th? Let's see here. We have here the King of Blades. Ooh. So we have here, this person's a hair cutter, hairdresser, hair, um, hair stylist, barber, hair cutter, whatever. Um, they look like they're busy here. They're, um, getting a little, yeah, it looks like, don't, don't they look like they're getting a little too rambunctious there? I don't, even the dog looks like, what's going on there? <laughs> the person looks a little nervous too. It's like, she looks sad. It's like, ooh, I hope they don't overcut my hair. Okay, well, whatever's going on. You know, the, the knight of swords is uh, very fast moving so this could be something happening very quickly for you it could be with the air sign aquarius libra gemini let's get a charm on it. so we have here Ooh, there is someone you might be connected to someone like a past life connection or there's something about growth here we have the tree this could be like good health good growth expanding but this also i always see the tree as a past life connection so you might be dealing with someone that you have a past life with okay let's see what else we get and we have here oh there's the four of wands is there a commitment oh there might be a commitment coming here are you getting married okay so we have something that could be with a a knight of swords a commitment and we have oh someone's moving away from something to something better we have the six of swords so someone is leaving something behind to go into something better i always like that card okay let's get a clarifiers now okay why do we have the knight of swords here for taurus let's see okay oh we have the wheel of fortune this is destined well we have the past life with the tree here so something's destined to come together in time in the right timing might be a marriage might be a commitment here let's see about this four of wands okay so someone's been waiting for the right time to come or waiting for this to come together now this could also be with this commitment card someone might be leaving a commitment and waiting for the right time to leave a commitment in order to go to something that makes them happy so let's see about the six of swords Ooh, I love it. We have the victory card. We have the six of swords. We have a victory. So there is a victory coming in for you. Something that you've been trying to do or you're getting attention. Maybe you've been trying to get somebody's attention. Um, you could be relocating too with the six of um, swords. Let's get the words on this now. On this knight of swords. Could be your energy too moving towards something quickly. We have a likely unknown karma well wheel of fortune the tree there plus now we have karma so this is saying something is coming in something that's kar karmic something's happening okay you might know what that is you might not it might be for you it might not because it is a general reading let's see what else we have going on Oh, so we do have the three of coins. This is a collaboration working together with someone here. This could be a business thing. This could be um, romance too. We have here, this is actually the king of coins, which is you. Right? King of coins. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You might be collaborating on something. Now, the king of coins is 
the most abundant of all the court cards. So you might be collaborating on something that brings in money. Or this is saying that you're financially abundant. Or you could be working with someone that's doing quite well financially. And we have the Ten of Cups. This is happy family, happy home. I love it. Okay, so something to do with a family business maybe. Collaborating with family members. Okay, so with this King of Coins, King of Pentacles, what do we have here? We have, oh, soul machine. You might be fixing something, mending something, or putting pieces together. Soul machine. Okay. So now, the three of, what is it? Three of Pentacles, right? Yeah. Just wanted to feel this. Ooh, so this is the death card. You could be ending a partnership, a collaboration, or you're ending something to be to form a partnership. We have the death card here, Scorpio energy. Could be with a Scorpio, but this is a major change has taken place in a partnership, in a connection, endings, new beginnings, rebirth, transformation, change. Okay, what about this King of Pentacles, King of Coins? Oh, this is going to happen very quickly here. We have the chariot, fast moving energy, cancer energy. Okay. Yeah, the Ten of Cups family. Okay. Oh, and this is. Oh my gosh, this is Ace of Cups? Yeah, you have the Ace of Cups here. So this could be a love connection coming together. Family, love, something new, um, maybe an invite. Okay, let me get the words on the King of Coins, King of Pentacles. Options, love, after. Okay. So you have options, and one of these options, there's going to actually be some kind of love that comes together. Something that you're doing, something you're changing, something that's transforming, it feels like, a, I mean, look at this, the Ace of Cups with the Ten of Cups. There's something being initiated here, and this could be actually a family. You have the wedding card, too, because you have the Four of Wands, so I don't know, someone might be getting married, having a family. Okay, let's see here, what else do we have for Taurus? We have the hangman waiting for something here. Pisces energy. Are you waiting on something? Waiting on someone? Waiting to make a move? Uh, gaining a better perspective? Let's see what else we have. So we have here the seven of wands. You might be waiting to fight for something. And we have here the Knight of Coins. Oh, okay. Now we have the Knight of Coins, which is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Your energy again. The Knight of Coins is very um, particular about what they do. Very like this person. Look how much time and effort they're putting into wax in the car. It's like everything has to be just so. So you might be planning something out, uh, wanting to fight for something, but making sure everything's just right. Or it could be someone coming towards you doing that. Let's see, we have here. Oh, we have a pipe. And no, it's really uh, weird. All of a sudden I got peace pipe when it says, it might be that someone, it's you or someone wants to come towards it. This Knight of Pentacles wants to, okay, maybe you're smoking a pot pipe. I don't know, hash pipe, I don't know. <laughs> but it could be anything. But here's a pipe. And sometimes it could also be, like if you know someone that passed over that's in the spirit realm that might be around you that smokes a pipe. Your father, your grandfather, your uncle, great uncle or whatever. Um, or it might be just a spirit guide that you have that smokes a pipe. 
But anyway, we got the pipes. I, for some reason, I got peace pipe. Like someone wants to smoke the peace pipe, sit down and have a little powwow and hash things out, but willing to fight for something here. Okay. At the right time. Definitely something being really planned out here. So let's see about this hangman. Oh, we have the strength. Someone's trying to gain the strength to do something. Leo energy. And we have the king of wands. So someone's coming in with a lot of passion to fight for something. Or this is someone very attractive. Maybe someone coming towards you that is very attractive. Or they find you very attractive. However you look at this, this is someone being very charming. A leader. This could be someone that's showing their leader skills and really, you know, taking charge of a situation, it feels like. We got a charm on the King of Wands. We have here. Oh, we have a ladybug. Lucky, lucky. Okay, now let's see about this Knight of Coins, Knight of Pentacles. What's going on with that? I want one to fall out for this one. I, oh, okay. What's this? They don't want to let go of this couple of them. We have judgment and we have the world. So, yeah, someone might be coming back around. And there's a judgment being made here with the Knight of Pentacles. With the Knight of Pentacles, either making it or, or someone's making a decision about a Knight of Pentacles. But there's this completion of a cycle or ending for new beginnings. It's something that could be returning, especially with the judgment card. Okay. So now... Let's get the word on this King of Wands. A tower. Surprise. Contact. Always. Okay. So, maybe this person always likes to surprise someone. Or there's something about something happening un all of a sudden. Unexpected. And someone's contacting. But something. I don't know why they're always there. You might know. Aries Scorpio energy with the um the tower. And also Death card Scorpio energy. I don't know if I said that or not. Let's see about this Knight of Pentacles. What's the word on them? What's the scoop on the Knight of Pentacles? Let's see. Finish. Blank. Present. I think it almost feels like like usually I see the blank one as a clean slate, fresh start, starting over, you know, you know, a fresh canvas. But I'm seeing this now as someone's finish as their finish of not doing, not moving. And we have here in the present. So it could be in the present. It could be someone bringing someone a present or someone presenting someone with something. I think, really, that someone was not doing stuff for a while here and now they're done not doing. <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay. Let's see. What else we have? What else do you have for Taurus coming up this week? Of the 10th to the 16th. What else is going on for Taurus? Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Okay, we have here the Ace of Blades. Someone's going to speak their truth. Someone might be going through surgery to a poor puppy. Um, but something is being cut out, removed. Something that's not needed. Or someone is speaking their truth. Or, you know. It's also, I feel like, justice being served here, too. Let's see. Did not want to come apart. So let's see. Let's see. Okay, what's going on here? It's a little stuck. Okay, here we go. So we have here the Queen of Wands and Justice. Ooh, okay. So it feels like there is going to be a contract. There's going to be contact. There's going to be some kind of justice serve Libra energy. We have the Queen and King of Wands here. It feels like there's something happening where someone is speaking their truth. There's a very strong um, connection here. A very strong, like you guys are very much attracted to each other. There's a strong desire. There's, you both are, yeah, you're just very attracted to each other. Okay, let's get something on this Queen of Wands. We have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Mm -hmm. Then we have here, oh, we have 
there's some kind of change happening here with this Queen of Wands. We have, there's a transition, there's a change, there's a metamorphosis. We have the butterfly. Okay, so now let's clarify that with, let's see about this Ace of Swords. Ooh, this is the Knight of Cups. So it looks like the Knight of Cups is coming towards me, the Queen of Wands. And this is offering their love here with the Queen of the Knight of Cups. Scorpio Cancer Pisces energy. I was doing these readings, the first ones, the first group. I could not remember these cards because I haven't used them in a long time. So I had to take some time to study them to figure them out. Because it was very hard to... I can hardly see... Like, if there's like a cup here, see how the, there's a very, I don't know, we can't even see it. There's a very faint cup under that knight, the word knight. You can hardly see it. Okay, so anyway, we have angels. This is being divinely guided here. Someone is divinely being divinely guided to speak their truth. They might need to cut something out before they do. And let's see about this queen of wands. Oop, oh my god, we got a couple here. All right, and they went sideways. So we have here, someone's at the crossroads trying to figure out what to do. They want commitment here for a wand, and they also have temperance. So this is maybe just happening now, or in, at a, it's going sideways. So it's not actually moving forward. It's like maybe something has to be said, or this person has to get there first. Maybe that's the case. Someone's at the crossroads. How do I do this? Which way do I go about this? Um, they want commitment here for a wand. And they want to balance things out. They want to bring peace to the situation. Temperance energy. Patience. Okay, I'm going to put it this way because that's what it came out. And now, let's see about the Justice card. Ooh, we have the Page of Cups. Someone's coming in with a love offer, maybe apology. It could be a couple people coming towards you, too. But it feels like a strong energy of someone wanting to fight for something here. So let's get a charm on the Page of Cups. And we have here... What is this? Oh, we have a wreath. This could be something re coming back around, like full circle. This also could be something about the holidays. Or it could be someone having a victory. Because the wreath is like... You know, the, the laurel wreath here. And then we also have, you know, like when a horse wins a race, they get a wreath. So it could be a victory. With someone coming in with a love offer, apology, a surprise. Okay, so now. So we do this Knight of Cups. Gift. Jealousy, immature. Okay, so maybe this Knight of Cups is coming in very immature and they're jealous and they might be coming in with a gift. Hmm. I know, so I don't like that jealousy showing up in immaturity, but, you know, take of it, resonate. It might be, you know, saying that this is your person. What about the Queen of Wands? Past life, reunite, excited, serious. Okay. I'm telling you, there's past life all over this one. You guys definitely been together before. It's very strong here. What about the Page of Cups? Present, tower. Okay, someone might surprise someone in the present or bring someone a present or present them with something that's very surprising. Career alone. So this might have something to do with someone's career. Maybe someone wants to surprise someone and give them a present or present them with something, maybe an opportunity, when they can get them alone. Maybe they're always around other people, so they're waiting for a time they can talk to them on their own so other people don't know about the business here going on. Of course, that could be love too, but with the career coming up, there's something to do with career for someone. Okay, let's see what else we get for you guys.
Ooh, someone is needing to walk away from something. It might be that someone needs to walk away from something in, in order to go to a new connection. We have the Six of Swords before. Now we have the Eight of Cups. So, so I mean, this is someone just leaving something behind. Look at this. They're like walking out the door, still dishes in the sink. It's like, I'm done. That's the type of energy. Like, you know, not unfinished business and just walking out on it. So you forget it. I'm done with this. I had enough. It feels like a fed up. I had enough energy. So let's see. And we have here the six of coins. Someone wants to balance something out with someone else. I even give and take. Something fair. And we have here the Five of Cups because someone has a lot of regret, remorse for what they did in the past or what they didn't do, what they should have done, should have, could have, would have. And we have here, this is the Page of Blades. Someone could be really looking into something here, researching something. See this here? Person is really taking something apart here, really looking at something. So someone could be doing that. This could also be the Spy Guy, Spy Gal. Um, or it could be learning something new, studying something new. I, um, going back to class or you know or taking a class taking a workshop doing something someone something new here okay and Aquarius Libra Gemini energy with the page of swords let me get a charm on that so now we have the horse this is going to happen quickly the horse is like the chariot so fast energy let's clarify this down Wow. Oh, you know, I wonder if this felt weird. I picked up the crystal and I said, why did that feel so bumpy? This is um, the selenite. So this is like um, protection. It's healing. It's cleansing. So there might be something to this being attached to this. So these cards. Let's see what these cards are. They, they might be a very protective energy, a very healing energy, a clearing energy. There might be a clearing of energies here. Let's see. Maybe by this person walking away. Let's see about this Eight of Cups. Ooh, okay, so we have here, these are cups, these are, um, this is actually, again, the Eight of Cups, and this card here is, ooh, we have the High Priestess, ah, someone is, def okay, this is to clarify the Eight of Cups, so that's very interesting, so we have the Eight of cups clear uh, clarifying the eight of cups someone is definitely walking away from something they might be trusting their intuition the high priestess someone could be very intuitive this is um cancer virgo energy this also could be something being kept secret they might be secretly walking away or doing something you know on the download here but a very strong intuition here okay now what about the six of coins This is just the five of coins. Wait, this is a six. Wait, one, two, three, four. Let me see. Okay, let me see if I can see the number up on top there. Don't, can't even see. Okay, I think it's the Six of Coins again. Yes, Sharon's given. Yes, it's the Six of Coins again. So to clarify that, yeah, someone definitely wants to. It's, isn't this amazing? Someone's definitely walking away from something because it's clarifying with the Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups. Then we have the Six of Coins with the Six of Coins. Wow. Someone definitely trying to bring something in balance. Now above this Five of Cups here. They're doing it because they feel really bad about something that happened here. Okay, I got two. Okay, yeah. They're in their head about something. They want to make things right. We have... This is the Justice card. Holy moly. Look at that. Someone is really stuck in their head about making something right here. Making something balanced. And that's why they're walking away from something to do this. Because here, if you look at this card here. 
See how she's in the mirror looking at her reflection? This is what everybody else sees, the, the person on the outside of the mirror. Inside, she sees herself as a big hot mess, all trapped in her thoughts. And no one else sees that. But that's what's going on with this person because of this card here. This is, look at this poor doggy, lost the owner. And this is a sad one. You know, and this person, whoever this is, they feel really sad for what happened. They're stuck in their head because of it. And now we have the justice card. Justice being served. Libra energy. This is beautiful. Someone's coming to terms with something and realizing what they have to do. And they might have to walk away from something. And you know what? They're stepping into their power. Because this is the emperor. Aries energy. Someone's taking control of a situation. After they learn something or figure out something, study something, there's something that they're doing here with this page of swords. This, I did put yeah. Let me get the words on that. And then we'll see what signs you're dealing with. Money, love, meaning, mature. Hmm. So someone might be working on their money. They love someone. They want to make a, a meeting here or maybe a love for money meeting. Could be, well, it could be a business meeting then. But we do have the love. I don't know. Let me get a clarifier on the money. See what we get on that. See if it makes sense or not. Oh, someone might be giving someone an expensive present. They might be meeting up with someone because they love them. And they have, they're more mature now. They grew out of whatever energy they were in before. They are stepping into emperor energy. I mean, come on. That's pretty intense. Okay. So let's see. What signs we could be dealing with. Placement in your chart. Placement other people's chart. Past, present, and future. Let's see what we have here for Taurus. Okay. I'll just take the top ones. We have a Pisces. Cancer, Cancer again, Cancer again, wow, strong Cancer energy, Scorpio, look at all the water signs, and then Virgo, <clears throat> okay, so placement, your chart, placement, other people chart, past, present, and future. We have Pisces, Cancer, 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 Scorpio, Virgo. Okay, so now let's do the letters. We're going to do 11 letters for initials, first name, last name. If you get both someone's initial for the first and last name, and they have a middle name, you know that middle name. Get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, and future, also your own initials. We have P, U, P, U, <laughs> K, oh, all we need is an E, right? S. G, P, D, T, H, K, F. Okay, the letters we have for today are P, U, K, S, G, P, D, T, H, K, F. All right, guys, there you have it. So that was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If it did not resonate with you, you can check all the places. I'm not sure if I'll get them all done for the same time that you watch this one. You might have to wait another day, but we'll see. I'm going to try to. Nine in one day is a lot, but we'll see if we get them done. I already took a, a, a nap to start this one, so I feel all charged up. So let's see how many I can get in. <laughs> all right, so aim. If it does not resonate, check out your other placements. Sun, moon, rising, Venus sign. Something might resonate with you more. Give that missing piece, that missing link. The part of the puzzle makes everything click together. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly appreciate you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, subscribes, your comments, your super thanks. I appreciate it all. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.